Hello YouTube people! On AliExpress 1111 sale I bought seven nice watches and this one is the first one that has arrived. I bought it because I like chronographs and this is new version, version 4, and I like black and white watches and I was not sure about one thing only, about meteorite dial, because I never saw one in person and I usually avoid plastic dials with some kind of texture because they tend to look cheap. How is this one? We'll take a look later on. First of all, let's take a look how it looks like on the wrist. Okay guys, spoiler alert, <laughs> I do really like this, this watch, it looks incredible, absolutely stunning looking watch, especially in this black and white, it looks just so cool. I really like the looks of it. It's a very cool looking watch in my opinion. I really like the looks of it, especially on this original bracelet. It's a very beautiful bracelet. It has negative points, we'll, we'll take a better look later on. And because of this black and white design, it looks simply wonderful on black rubber or silicone straps. And obviously silicone or rubber straps feel a lot more comfortable than any bracelet ever for me personally. In my opinion it looks just as good on this black silicone strap as it does on its original bracelet and that's a very big plus point for me personally because that's exactly how I would wear this watch. I also wanted to give you a, a little shot with a win winter glove on because it's a winter after all right now and that's exactly how I would wear this watch and that's how it looks like and I really like how it looks like. The size of this watch is just perfect for winter. If I want, I can hide it behind the sleeve and I don't feel any discomfort. I actually don't feel the watch at all right now. But it is big enough to stay outside of the sleeve if, if I want it. And sometimes that's exactly what I want. Loom is definitely not the strongest point of this watch. But it does have some... Nothing too impressive though. It is very dark outside so... The rest of the, of the video I gonna make inside under studio lights. I hope it's gonna be fine. Now let's take a better look at this beautiful dial. I usually avoid watches with texture on the dial because they tend to look cheap, nasty, tacky and I just don't like them for that reason. Not this one however, it has very beautiful shininess on the dial that changes depending on the light angle and just dances around when I move this watch changing the light angle I mean it's so beautiful I'm really impressed it looks super wonderful nothing cheap about the looks of this dial nothing it looks incredible speaking about the dial I see only one bad thing at least on my particular example is that indexes on 9 and 3 look a little bit misaligned to my eyes. The one on the 9 looks like it's facing down a little bit and one on the 3 looks like it's facing up a little bit inwards. I'm not sure. If you see that too, tell me in the comments because my eyes could be fooling me a little bit but it looks like they're a little bit misaligned. Let's look for other problems. How is the crown? Well, the crown is actually wonderful. On all Seiko Mecha Quartz movements crown is simply wonderful, very well damped. How is the alignment? Let's see on 6. Alignment seems good. Let's see if the minute hand jumps when I set it on 45. No, it stays in place. Very good crown action. Very good threading, very grippy crown. Simply wonderful, can't complain at all. How is the overall feel of the watch? How well it is finished? Well, the case on this edge is rather sharp. This is rather sharp edge. On another side as well, but this side is not that noticeable because it's behind pushers and the crown. The edges on the crown, I wish they were a little bit softer, the outer edges. Now, when I take the bracelet off, the inside of the lugs are very sharp, of course. Other than that, oh, everything else is just fine. The transition between polished and brushed edges seems nice edges of the bezel seem nice so overall it feels okay now the bracelet it is just as rough as beautiful it is and it is just as rough as it was on version 2 that i had the blue one if you haven't seen the review i will put the link in the description to the blue version now when i wear this watch i don't feel the roughness of of this bracelet because 
I like to wear my watches rather tight so it doesn't slide on my wrist. But if you like your watches a little bit loose, that roughness could irritate your skin. How is the clasp? Overall clasp feels wonderful, very solid, very well made clasp, except edges are a little bit rough, but at least the very corners are rounded up, so it's not too bad, not too bad. And I like this polished out edge, I like the engraving, overall I can't complain about the clasp. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. It's time to move to the conclusions. You already know all the specifications and I'm gonna measure this watch and put all the measurements in the description. You know that it's stainless steel case, sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel, 100 meters of water resistance. And speaking about water resistance, I have read your comments on Reddit that you are afraid to swim with chronographs that have non-screw down pushers. I can only speak from my own experience. I had that blue Pagani I took it to the holidays on Turkey and I've been swimming with that watch in Mediterranean Sea, in swimming pools, in jacuzzi. I have even been on water slides with that watch. No problems, but do this on your own responsibility. <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for your watch. I would be swimming with this watch, however, no problems for me personally. Now, very controversial thing. I. I wish I could put this watch on my website thomaswatchreviews.com where I rate watches into different tier lists. I wish I could put this watch into keepers, but because of technical things like it's a little bit rough and most importantly indexes on 9 and 3 are a little bit misaligned and I know many people would, would get really upset about that. For me personally, this tiny bit of misalignment, I don't really care. This watch has a very strong fun factor. I still want to put this watch into keepers, but I just can't. And for that reason, I also have to take down the blue version of the watch down to not bad. Because I have seen several examples on Reddit with misaligned indexes. And I saw how really angry people are about these misalignments. So I can't really put this watch into category where I would freely recommend the watch. I cannot freely recommend this watch. It comes with its downsides according to the price, obviously. So it goes into not bad. The blue version as well, down from the keepers, goes to not bad because of this. Hope you understand. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.